Good morning everyone, it's Kelly here and right now we are in St. Augustine, Florida with our buddy Ian. We're gonna go pull stone crab traps. He has five traps he set out um, a little while ago so hopefully they're full of crabs and then we went ahead and set out some traps, five traps, uh, two days ago. So we've been here for three days, this is our third day and we're actually leaving to go back home. We gotta stop by Benel, we gotta get our trail cameras from that lease and then we'll be home. But since we've been here for two days, we've actually accomplished a lot. We've gone gigging, gig some flounder, and we also went clamming, which was really cool. It brought back amazing memories from when Blue Gabe and I went to Boston and clam there. So that was super cool. We've had a very eventful trip, but right now we are ending it with some stone crab. Yesterday, Blue Gabe and Ian went fishing. It was really cold and I didn't really feel like going, honestly. So I walked around downtown St. Augustine, did a little bit of shopping, not too much shopping, and I got a couple really cool fossils. Um, I was in that store for probably about an hour. My inner nerd came out and I got two little fossils. One is a like two million year old alligator rib bone. And the other one is like a little tiny bait fish they found in Wyoming two million years ago. And then I also got this local artwork of this like alligator eye, which I thought was really unique. But right now they're waiting on me. I got my coffee, we got the boat, and we're gonna go pull stone crab traps. so we don't damage Ian's boat at all. This is like a yoga mat. Which side of the boat, Cap? We're gonna go right side. Alright. Does that make you bring want to bring out your inner yoga? Yes. I need a good stretch. Mullet will do it with you. Mullet. You know who you know who does yoga with me is Redneck. He'll come out there lay down with me, stretch, do the downward dog, it's pretty funny. All right, we're coming up on the first trap right now. Now these trap have these traps have been out for what, like five? They have about a five day soak on them, I believe. Five well, days. since we last baited them. All right. Oh, we're coming, we're coming. There it is. Oh, these are easy traps to pull. Oh, we got two nice ones. Yeah, so the, three. Uh, three bar goes to the bottom. Yeah, switch it around. Real nice crabs. Really nice ones. That's a cat putting us on the meat right off the bat. For real. Look at how big that crab is. Oh my gosh. You guys, it's been a long time since I've had stone crab, and it's my absolute favorite. All right, I've never. How do I open this trap right here? Y'all notice how much more excited she is now than she was before? <laughs> yeah. Right. Alright. Oh, I don't have gloves. Look at this! <laughs> Cap, Ian, you're, you're prepared. Alright, so this guy here, obviously, he either lost a claw in battle or somebody already took it. And this one is too small to harvest, so he's getting let back go for next year. Oh, toodaloo. Did Bianca do the artwork on this one? Bianca and Crystal. Aww. They have a little crab on the buoy. Watch out, mullet. Oh, this is a concrete trap. If you guys watch my how to build stone crab traps, this is the heavy one. I see legs. That's a good sign. You got it, Phil? Yeah, the rope's just slippery. There. Oh, yeah. oh man. Let's see what we got. Mac, dude, you got some big crabs over here. Holy moly. <laughs> All right, so this one, as you can see, perfectly healthy with no claws, and they're growing back. 
Oh yeah. That just answered all the questions we get in the comments. I wish I actually witnessed the stone crab and it had a little tiny claw like this. It was regen regenerating its, its claw. That's the right word. All right, let's not get pinched. No, I don't want to get pinched. Come here. Come here. Dang, he was strong there for a minute. So, let's go ahead and measure this one. Here. Dang, he's strong. That's the one crab I haven't been pinched by Let yet. Let me get on the base of that little knuckle right there. There we go. All the way to the tip. And he's supposed to be two and seven eighths. And obviously that's gonna be a good claw. Oh yeah. So at the end, I'm gonna show you guys how to properly dislocate the claw from the crab without hurting the crab. But right now we're putting the traps back because they still have bait in them. That way Ian can come here in a few days and catch some more crabs. Look at this mess. We pulled two traps. It's <laughs> Mullet's fault. Oh, he's so, don't be scared of the Mullet GoPro. Mullet says, are we going to the sandbar? Oh. Mullet does not like the GoPro. No, he doesn't. All right, so we got enough crabs for me to eat. Now y'all got to catch some for you. Huh? What's yeah, those here? those are mine. You, no way, I'm the camera plus, guy. Plus the boat share yeah. and mullet share. You're borrowing I'm my frog the dogs. Dirty one. <laughs> I put fuel in the boat. This is Ian's boat. Yeah, but I put fuel in the truck, and the truck pulled the boat here. All right, so this it's okay. So now we all split the crabs. Mullet ain't that right. Here we go. Is this a heavy one? Yeah. <laughs> oh come on! All right, got it. Nice crab. I had to bend for that one. Pulling up to this third trap, there was these big old white pelicans. They're such a pretty sight to see because down where we live, I don't see them all that much. Man. These ropes get super slippery. What you got in this one? That's a secret bait we're experimenting with. All right, hold up. I gotta stand up. Dang! my gosh you definitely got crabs all right thank gosh for these frog togs because i'm a mess right now all right goodness this is probably the most big crab oh man this bait oh this bait's rough babe you caught rubies and emeralds <laughs> yeah right oh God, there's a crab right there i didn't even see him well he didn't he didn't have any pinchers well, that's good to show though, because yeah. so many people think that we kill all these crabs. Nothing's so, alive and healthy. Yeah. As long as you leave this joint while you're detaching the claw, these crabs will grow back the claw. I believe it's within a year. And so maybe even four months from now, we'll have a tiny little claw just like this. This one's a female. Yeah, it's a female. There you go, baby girl. Let me, let me show you something. <laughs> Don't do it. Just don't do it. <laughs> Give him a smooch. There you go. I actually did not, I actually learned this from Gabe and Ian. You can hold their back legs and they can't pinch you. I always hold them like this. Man, that's a nice claw. All right. Well, on to the next trap. On to the next. Belly flopped pretty intensely. Roll it right in. I don't see any in this one. Might need to change spots. Yeah, there's oh, some. Oh, the fish! Oh. Look at this fish! It's a little sea bass, yeah. right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, look how cute. How cool is that? Goodbye. Huh. Well, we didn't go completely empty handed. We found a cool little sea bass. You still want to put this trap in this spot? We're going to move this one. Okay. Not All right, well, we're going to go ahead and move this trap because, like you heard the cap, it ain't producing. All right, trap number four. Let's go. We have been successful at all of our traps so far. Is this 
another cement trap? It is. The heavy one. If you ever decide to go crabbing, stone crab, blue crab, you're gonna get messy. <laughs> this, this is fun to watch. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> oh, I see one in there. Let's see. I think he's hiding under the... All right, not too shabby. It's a good one. Where are them tongs at? I never even thought about using tongs to get crabs out before. Makes it a lot look. Ooh. Makes it a lot less stressful. Oh my god, I'm scared. Dude, if you could feel the pressure, that's scary. That is really. I would not want my finger in his claw right now. Just lay him there on that mat and he'll let go. Oh yeah. Just like the, the land crab in Jamaica. I just had to let him down and he let go of my finger. Hey, let me see, let me see, let me see. Oh. No, 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 don't break the cloth. I can just let no, him go no. on the road. Oh my, I got him, I got him. Get him, get him. Babe did a Superman dive. <laughs> okay, so I can't feel my thumb right now. Hold on, my hand's shaking. I got him, he was not getting away, even if I was gonna get pinched by this massive chomper right there. I can barely hold on to him because my thumb hurts so bad. Babe, you got like a hundred times more attractive in my eyes right now. <laughs> I'm putting him in the back before I actually drop him. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys how to correctly pop a stone crab claw. So we're gonna show you guys two ways to pop the claws off stone crab. This is just the way I learned how to do it. And it could be a little tough for some people, but I'm gonna go ahead and pop off the right claw because I'm right-handed, I'm a lot stronger with my right. I press the crab up against me. I use my left middle finger to press on that joint. While I'm pressing, I'm gonna do one sharp pull. And you pull it off and you leave that joint right there. That's good eating. We got crab number two, and Ian is gonna show us another way to dislocate the claw from the crab. So I'm gonna point this claw downwards like this. Keep it kind of tense, taut. Come in there, right there, and push. Oh, look at that. That was, to me, way better. That was nice. And see, you're still keeping, that's the joint you need to keep right there. And uh, he'll grow that claw back. That was pretty cool. Dang, that was. I don't think I've seen that before. I've killed a bunch of crabs doing it the wrong way. Yeah, I mean, the way I do it... It drives me nuts. You know, I feel so bad every time. Me too. Yeah. And anyone that acts like it doesn't happen to them is just full of it. Yeah, everyone who pulls stone crab traps, it happens. It That's just a part of life. But this was a really good way to do it as well. Can we go eat some now? Uh -huh. I'm ready to go eat some. It's, it's crazy overcast too, and it's getting kind of cold. What is this thing doing now? Oh. He's like, oh gosh, there's that camera oh, gosh. again. Oh gosh, look! Oh, sniffing! Catch it! Catch it! Catch it! Catch it! Alright, let's go back to the house and eat up some stone crab. Oh. Oh. Alright, we are officially back at the house. Ian's over there on the table on his phone. I got the, cr the crab claws in a strainer and we rinsed them off really, really well. I usually just give them a good scrub with my hands. I move the claw around, I move the joints around and get all that rinsed off. Next step, super easy. Take them over to a pot of boiling water. Whew. Now we're just gonna drop them right in. This can get splashy. You ready? Oh boy. Put that lid on there and we're gonna let them boil for about seven minutes usually six minutes if they're smaller claws seven for bigger ones we got some butter right here which you can melt it on the stove or i ain't got time for that i'm just gonna pop it in the microwave a bowl of ice for when they're done you put them on the ice and then they're ready to eat meanwhile gabe's got me and he's go off of pastries but you're doing it wrong why because you only got a half that's all i want Mm -hmm. It's smelling extra crabby in here. 
It's been about seven minutes. I just got myself a long pair of tongs and putting them immediately on ice. Oh my gosh, don't fall. I knew that was gonna happen. It was getting, it was slipping, slipping out of the tongs. There we go. Oh yeah, that one's mine. Oh, this one's mine. That's a good one. We probably got about a dozen. We're gonna let them cool down, go outside in the back patio, and start cracking. All right, so as you guys know, we have Ian here. He's letting us stay at his gorgeous house here in St. Augustine. And we're about to bust open some crabs. We got Blue Gabe behind the camera helping me film. We filmed two amazing videos for Blue Gabe since we've been here. And you guys have to check out Tugboat Trash on TikTok. He does some amazing recipes on there. And the reason his name's Tugboat is because he works on a tugboat. And the trash part is like a big inside joke with all the tugboat people who work on tugboats. It's, it's tug, T-U-G, underscore trash. All right, you ready? What, what do you prefer? Which, which weapon of choice? I've been using a spoon lately, spoon? but the back of a knife works good too. Yeah. I learned with the back of a butter knife, so that's what I'm gonna do. Pick out your claw. Okay. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Might get a little noisy. The key is to do like two or three solid, like whack, whack, and then it comes open. Sometimes I accidentally crush it too much. Ooh. Ian won. I, hey. I forgot we were racing. <laughs> we were, I didn't know we were racing. All right. And then you also want to get, that, that's actually my favorite part, that little knuckle right there. Another tech tip is if you try to like open these the shell with your fingers, you guarantee you will slice your finger with these stone crab claws. There we go. That one solid jab. Now this like white stuff is just fat, just like any other animal. Oh, that's a solid piece right there. Dip that in some butter. Right. Honestly, stone crab like doesn't even need butter. Nothing. But we got the butter there. To me, that's like the best. That's what I know it's definitely the best crab, but possibly one of the best seafoods. Ever. I absolutely love stone crab. I think out of all the crabs, if it's fresh. Now I have ordered stone crab at a restaurant once and it wasn't it wasn't good. But if you are able to get your traps and have it right out of the ocean the same day. It's so good and something just hit me. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's amazing. All right, babe. Wait, get yourself some. You just said crap one. Mm. See, I was trying to eat real fast so I can get a good share before Gabe got to it. Yeah, right. Right here. Right here. That knuckle. You're not eating crab unless you're making a mess. Pretty much. Mullet. Mullet, you want some crab? He says, don't forget about me. You know what? Mullet participated. Oh, look at his face. I have been cut so bad by these shells before. That's the chunk right there. That's it. Yeah, but I don't like the fat. The fat's where like that real rich taste comes from. Mmm, <laughs> mmm, mmm. Mullet, here. You can have some of the fat. He's like, nah, bro, that's not me. <laughs> he doesn't, Mullet does not like the fat either. They know that. Why were you going for my piece? I was going for that little knuckle piece right there. I still got a big old piece right here. Hold up. The one part I don't really like eating is that like flimsy part of the little pincher claw. The little like thing. I don't know, I can't. I can't. Mm, so good. So we're gonna go ahead, chow down on these stone, on these stone crab claws, you guys. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out Tugboat Trash on TikTok and Instagram, Blue Gabe on YouTube, and be sure to subscribe to my channel as well. Leave this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a positive comment below, and we will see you guys in the next one. See ya. Maybe. Look you guys can do a video. I don't know if I'm bad enough to go in a bear and see. <laughs> Ooh.
Them dudes are in a league of their own. But what are you doing exactly? That may be uh, not allowed, but I'm going to allow it today. Well, well, you allowed it last night? Yeah, I know. He's spoiled. <laughs>